Hey, how you doing, Trader Joe's? I'm out walking with Charlie, and uh, two things I'm gonna go over. Um, as we're going, I notice this types of bushes that are going along here, right? And check out these the way these branches on this bush grow. It has these fins. Come on, Charlie. It has these fins that grow out from the branch, left and right, but also up and down. See that? So it's like there's two sides. There's, there's this one that's going like this way, and then there's this one which is going like this way. So see how it looks like it's cut? Really, it's just two-sided, like uh, fins. See that? Better image of it right there. Interesting. You know, and from from the edge on, it's like a like a T or a plus 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 shape. Can't get the camera to focus on it, but kind of weird. You know, I would think that uh, you know wind would hit it and cause a resistance, but then this would also cause a resistance if wind was going this way. You know. I don't know why nature would uh, do that, and there's a lot of them all along here, like that. And then um, <laughs> the other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, the uh, the shape of a knife handle. Let me just tie him up over here. Use this. I use this piece of wood as an example. Give me a drawing. So I'm gonna just drape that over it. Now, with the shape of this knife, you see how that that area there is getting like a shiny look to it and this is uh, it's it's kind of like squared off but it's also it's got like like an indent in there as opposed to like being solidly filled like that when I go to cut into something and I push hard it's pushing into like the webbing of my hand over there in this area in front of the knife like in that area it's pushing into that area and it's uh you know, it's an irritant. It hurts, right? And then um, if I use the Azula, I get the same kind of pain, even though it's shaped very differently right in this area. See? The same area, it hurts on my hand. Not as much, probably because it's a little bit more rounded. But I'm wondering... I, the reason why I prefer a flat, low-profile shape is, is for uh, concealability of the knife. I'm not, I don't want to advertise that I have it and, um, you know, make it something that uh, people can know that I have, you know. I like uh, being kind of uh, off the radar, so to speak, you know, that I'm carrying something like that. And plus it fits under the clothing better and it doesn't stick stick out or cause a, an imprint even even if it wasn't for um, uh, you know concealment purposes just so that it looks better you know but so I prefer a low profile handle being thin but I also prefer a handle that doesn't dig into my hand so if anyone can make recommendations or, or maybe discuss it as to a low profile easily concealed handle that's also comfortable through hard use you know um, I'm thinking maybe Kylie's new handle design maybe maybe the ticket here because it's it's uh, like octagonal or you know chamfered but I haven't gotten one of those yet so at some point I'll get one and I'll try that out but other than that if anyone has an idea let's talk about it all right Trader Joe's Charlie in his camo. Charlie's got a camouflage fleece pullover with another cam with another fleece pullover below that. It's the red one. Alright? He's blending in. Alright. Hey, don't eat that. Charlie, look at me. Charlie, Charlie, look at me. Have a good day. Oh wait, one other thing. You gotta check this out. It's 
vine that's growing on this tree. Look how that's, it looks like rope. So cool. Let me see the size of it. All right. All right. Charlie. It's a busy road. No school buses. You ready, Charlie? Baby B. Charlie. You ready? Bye.